Hi everyone, how's it going? I'm Rob Paul M from RuneScape Community Management. We put up a poll recently asking you guys who you wanted to throw questions at via the medium of video in our Q&A sessions and with 39% the content team came out on top. So we've got mods Tim, Nancy and Trick here today to answer your questions. So I guess uh, we should crack on with the player questions. Do you guys put together the content, like as in imagine it and develop it, or does somebody else imagine it and you guys put it together? It's all us. Yeah, it's yeah. all us. It's all us really, yeah. Um, yeah, that we get our ideas from a variety of different sources, uh, but uh, you know, like it might be from the players, or it might be you know our, what we kind of like or what we think would be a good idea. Um, but we'll kind of flesh that out, and then sort of like between the team, we'll try and decide what is good and what what's what's bad, and sort of and sort take of it from there. Take it from there. We start out with a concept brief. Um, that's where we put our initial ideas down. Um, we get that approved by. Um, our lead designer, Mark, um, and then we take it into a design brief stage when we start talking to graphics about what we want it to look like, and we start working on it by coding it, um, and graphics start making all the graphics for it, and from then on, um, once it's all together... It then it's a case of sort of testing it, making sure that we're happy with it, um, and then we'll hand it over to QA. QA will then do much thorough testing. Um, and at the same time it gets edited and translated into the various different languages and eventually it gets ready for release and then we release it and then fingers crossed. I think creative is pretty important actually. Yeah. Um, it is one of the main things that we look for when we're adding people to the content team. You need it definitely to come up with those strange wacky ideas to add to, to RuneScape. I think it's, it's an absolute necessity. I'd like to make more changes to Cost Wars, that would be pretty nice. Um, it'd always be nice to add a crazy mode to, to Castle Wars where we could just change it and have all sorts of interesting and different ideas added to that. And is that on the cards? Um, we might possibly be adding some changes, would be nice, but uh, perhaps nothing to the huge scale that I would imagine being great. But Is that actually Jagex actually maybe talking a little bit about a future update? Oh, perhaps, maybe. Oh my God, you've heard it here first, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, the penguins started out as robots um, and that didn't fly, so I decided to do penguins <laughs> for no particular reason whatsoever because I couldn't have robots. So are you responsible for the penguins in RuneScape? I am responsible You've for You've got them. a lot to answer for. I know. Okay. They're going to take over. I loved designing Larry um, from the Penguin Quests because he's just absolutely nuts but thinks he's the sanest person on the planet. So the dude in the, the... Yeah, the straight jacket. Yeah, straight straight jacket, jacket dude. He's, he's so much fun to make and write and design. We are considering like increasing the, the cap on other skills but obviously you can't do that without a lot of you know, consideration as to what it'll do. If we if we suddenly raise strength up to 120, you know, it would have a massive effect on the game. Um, probably an effect we wouldn't really want. So we're, we'd only ever do it after really careful consideration. And certainly, I don't think there's anything in the pipe anytime soon. Yeah, we've already announced that there'll be a an update to Dungeoneering um, later this year. Um, I think this year? Probably this year? Hopefully. Hopefully this year. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, where there will be more flaws and... Uh, probably therefore more bosses. Um, I don't really want to say too much more. When I was kind of younger I would always get like demo discs with a friend and we would from just sort of like magazines and you get perhaps six new demos for a game each uh, month and just kind of sit through play the demos and kind of pick apart what parts we thought were good or what parts we thought were bad perhaps give it our own sort of score or something like that and then you kind of just build up from experience an idea of what you think is you know, how you would perhaps do it differently. I think that's that's helped me out quite a bit in the past. Learn programming. Mm. Programming is I, not just games programming, learn computer science programming um, because it's so, so useful. The, the best sort of education you can get for it would be, um, I think some schools do um, computing A-levels now. They're brilliant um, introduction to programming. Get yourself into a computer science or I think there's no, well, you did computer I did computer games a, degree? I did a computer games degree, but I, I would definitely say that a computer science degree is more well-rounded. Oh, yeah. um, you know, get a, get a good technical basis to, to work from, and then you can learn games design as you go. Okay, I reckon we've got time for one more question then, and that one comes from DarkMagic76. He'd quite simply just like to know three adjectives to describe the content team. Go. Awesome. Crazy. Dynamic. Dynamic. Okay, well, there you go. Thank you very much for taking the time to speak to us today, and uh, thank you everyone for sending us your questions. Next time, we've got the graphics team. Mod Crow's going to be creating a thread in probably the next hour or so, so feel free to uh, get your typey fingers on the ready and start throwing some questions at the graphics team.
Until then, though, we'll uh, we'll be off. Catch you later. Bye.